<sighs> why windows why what is up guys this is shivain and in this video i will tell you guys how you can fix the problem that you have high memory usage on your pc or that you have 99 or 91 percent memory or ram usage on your device which is causing your pc to slow down so before we begin with the video i would just like to say that if you guys have any software related problems then just comment it down below on our videos or email us and we will make a solution video for you guys now let's begin with the video so the first fix that we can do may seem a very simple one and that is to close unnecessary background programs on your pc so for that you just right click your taskbar and then go to task manager and in the processes tab you will find all the processes that are running on your pc so just end all the unnecessary processes because since your computer is running multiple programs at the same time it causes a high memory usage over time because what happens happens sometimes is that when you close a program it may keep running in the background and it stacks up and your computer starts to run multiple programs at the same time which causes this issue so just close down any unnecessary processes that you think are there now the second thing that we can do is disable startup programs so in the task manager just go to the startup tab and then disable all the startup programs that you think you do not need so as you can see i have a pretty clean startup program page so i don't have any unnecessary startup programs but if you do then just right click on them and then disable them now if this doesn't work then what you do is go to your windows search bar and then search regigate and then you will find a program for registry editor just right click on it and click on run as administrator now once you do that then go to the local machine that is h key local machine and then go to system and then go to control set 001 after you go to control set 001 you go to the services tab and there you scroll down until you find a folder known as ndu just double click on the folder to open it and then you should find a D word for start. Now just right click on it and click on modify and then there you should find the value data as 2. So just change this value data from 2 to 4 and then click on ok. Now you again go to the H key local machine but this time you go to the system and then current control set. Now after that you go to control and then session manager and then finally you go to memory management in the editor once you reach to the memory management you should find a d word known as clear page file at shutdown now right click on it and again click on modify and then just change its value to one after you do all of this just close down the editor and then restart your pc and then again check whether it fixes your problem of high memory usage on windows 10 now if this also didn't work then we still have a lot of more options to go to the next thing i can suggest that you do is disable superfetch services so for that just go to your windows search bar and then search run and in run you search services.msc now once you open up the services tab just scroll down until you find a program known as superfetch once you find the superfetch program just right click on it and then click on stop and if this also didn't solve your problem of high ram usage then i recommend that you check out the viruses in your system because they might be causing this issue so for the viruses i recommend that you go to the windows defender first so just click on your start button and then go to settings and in the settings you go to security and update and then go to windows defender and then open windows defender security center after that just click on virus and threat protection and then click quick scan moreover i recommend that you check out an antivirus system to scan your pc i will link down a free antivirus system i personally use bit defender but you can use any good antivirus system and then just scan your pc for any viruses that may cause this issue and then obviously restart your pcs to see the effects also, I did see reports saying that their antivirus was actually the one who was causing this issue. So, so if you have an antivirus already installed on your PC, try disabling it and see and see if your memory usage improves. Now, next thing we'll tackle is the virtual memory. So for that, you just go to your Windows search bar and then search for control panel. And in control panel, you go to system and security. 
and then there you will find system just click on it and then go to advanced system settings now in the advanced system settings go to the advanced page and then there you will find a box for performance just click on its settings and then go to advanced and there in the virtual memory column go on to change now you have to uncheck automatically manage paging file size for all drives and then select your c drive and select the option of no paging file and then click on set to save that option now after you do that you have to set suitable virtual memory for your non-system drives so just click on your non-system drive for me it is just my d drive but for you it might be more than one drive so you have to do this for all of your drives so just select your non-system partition and then click on custom size. Now you have to set the same value for the initial size and the maximum size. And if you want to know which value you should set, it should be about 1.5 to 2 times your physical memory. So if you open up the system in your control panel again, you will find that for me, my installed memory is 8 gigabytes. So I can set my allocated memory as 1.5 times of 8 GB or 2 times of 8 GB. Uh, but remember that the size mentioned in this column is in megabytes and then just click on OK and then restart your PC and check whether this solves your problem of high RAM usage in Windows 10. Now if this also doesn't work then I suggest that we look into the hard drives. Now for that I recommend that you first go to uh, your Windows search and then search for command prompt and then right click on your command prompt and click on run as administrator. After you run it as administrator, you type in the following command prompt commands. And I link these commands down in the description below for you to check out. The first one is DISM online cleanup image check health. After you run this. Then the second one is DISM online cleanup image scan health and finally the third one is DISM online cleanup image restore health. So let these commands run and then after these DISM commands you type in the following final command prompt command that is SFC slash scan now. So what these commands will do is search for your PC for any corrupted or missing files and then automatically replace those files from the internet. And these commands fix many problems regarding Windows 10 so it might actually help here as well and that is why we are using these commands in this video. So after you run all of these commands just restart your PC and see if this fixes the problem. The next thing we'll do is defragment our hard drives and for this you can use a third party partition tool but it may turn out as a complicated process and make this video a lot longer than it should be. So I'll make a separate video for that and you can check it out on my channel. So just subscribe to the channel and, and then stay tuned for that video. Now I will give you a very small clue to how to do this in this video but as I said I'll make another video for the defragmentation of hard drives. So for defragmentation you just have to go to your windows and then go to run and then search for DFRGUI and then a new window should appear for you. Now in that new window just select the hard drives that you want to defragment and then click on optimize and then you have to restart your PC in order for it to take effects. But I will make a detailed video on the defragmentation of hard drives as well so you don't have to worry about it too much. Now before I begin with the final few methods to solve this problem, I would just like to mention that if you go to your task manager and you're having this RAM or even disk issue with Chrome or Skype, then there is a fix for that as well. So for Chrome, you open up your Chrome and go to settings and in settings you go down and find show advanced settings and in advanced settings you'll find a tab for privacy in privacy just uncheck prefetch resource to load pages quickly this will save up a lot of disk and ram the second thing that you can do is in skype and for skype you just open up your windows explorer and go to your skype installed folder so for me it is c drive program files 86 and then skype and in skype you go to phone and in phone you will find a file for skype exe just right click on it and go to its properties and in properties open up the security tab and then click on edit and then go on to highlight all application packages 
now after that just select right and then click apply and then ok so these skype and chrome settings should improve your ram and disk usage for your pc and it was just a side benefit to this video now the final two ways that i know how to fix this problem would be to first fix your drivers and for that you can download a all-in-one driver fix tool i suggest that you try out driver talent it is very easy to use hashtag not sponsored but i will link this down in the description below if you want to check it out the second way is that you fix the drivers manually so for that you go to your google chrome and then search for windows driver kit and then you open up microsoft's official website and then install and download your windows driver kit from there i will link down this also in the description below for you to check out now after you download the windows driver kit it is very easy to install it just select the windows driver kit and then follow the instructions on the screen to install it and see if this fixes the problem the last thing that we can do is adjust your pc for the best performance so for that you just go to control panel and then again you go to system and security and then go to system and there you go to advanced system settings and then you select the advanced tab and click on the settings in the performance box and then just select adjust for best performance and then click apply what this will do is reduce all the animations that you see when you open up tabs and stuff like that and it will make it a bit choppy so why we do this is because if this option actually fixes your problem for high ram usage or high memory usage in your windows then what actually is the problem is not the software is actually the hardware so what you have to do is increase your ram in order to fix this issue and this issue is not related to software so if you're running windows on a 4 gigabyte strip and then expecting a multiple windows of chrome to be open at the same time and you're doing a lot of stuff as well then i don't think that will work and in order to fix this the last thing that i can recommend is upgrading your physical ram itself for windows 10 at least it is recommended that you take 8 gb of ram for your pc or for your laptop now that is it for this video and I hope you guys liked it. I know it was a long one but I wanted to make it as detailed as possible for solving this problem. And keep in mind that this was only if the software was the main culprit for this problem and not the hardware. So thank you for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. Remember to like this video and subscribe to the channel for more content. I'll see you in the next video. Until then, bye.